Hey everyone, it's Tox from CritsHappen.com. Thanks for watching. Welcome back. Most of you may be wondering why we have two X's now in our loss column. Well, we actually went and played another game and forgot to hit the record button. So, which is actually kind of good because we really got trounced and beaten up. So we're back here with the arena. We're now unfortunately one and two. So this very well could be our last game. Our last game was pretty painful. Uh, we played a paladin who had a lot of weapons and they just beat us down. So hopefully this one will be different. We can get back to the win column and get two wins and not, not our third loss. So let's go ahead and give it a shot and see what we get with Valera the Rogue. Uh, our last game taught us we should have drafted some uh, taunters because without the ability to consistently remove people from your opponent's side of the field, taunting is a big help and we just didn't get it. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens here. Valera. So we're going to face Anduin, the priest. The life shall bring oh, lots of spells, and we go first. Hmm, okay. Let's get rid of Conceal. And as much as I want to keep Eviscerate, I really think I need to get rid of that and keep Fan of Knives. So let's see what we get. Survey says... We get a raid leader and a patient assassin. That's actually pretty good for an early game start. So let's see how this goes. And we're in Ogremar. Survey says we have nothing on turn one. Ogremar's pretty fun. You can lower the gate if you pound on it enough. Um, you can also hit the balloon. You can make fire and push the flag. And more importantly, you can launch a boulder, which is really cool. Alright, we're going to go ahead and bring out the silent, uh, patient assassin, not the silent assassin. Let's see how this works. And I think, actually, Kraken Dan just showed up, so he may be here to comment for us. Hey Dan, you're more than welcome to come in. Alright. This is actually one of my favorite characters, the Northshire Cleric. Uh, whenever that minion is healed, he can draw a card. All right. So, survey says we need to pump him up a little bit. So, hmm. <laughs> what should we do? What should we do? I think I'm just going to kill him because I don't like her at all. And then we're going to come in with our weapon. And we'll go ahead and hit him in the head. Uh, the Northshire Cleric is pretty powerful. So it's a 1-3. Three. 3 is a really good health at the beginning of the game. And with the power of the Priest being able to heal, it just it combos up and lets them draw cards really, really quickly. Cult Master is good. Cult Master is uh, whenever another minion dies and he draws a card. So we'll have to get rid of him pretty quickly there. Let's go ahead and bring out the Blood Cell Buccaneer, or Blood Cell Raider. We'll go ahead and go one to his head, and I don't think we'll use Conceal just yet, but we will get our weapon back. So we'll go ahead and uh, get ready for next turn and see how that goes. So pretty even start so far, not too bad. We're rolling our way into mid game. Hmm, that's pretty good. He's gonna have four health on that guy. That's going to be a good card drawing thing, depending on what he can bring out to go with it. Of course, he's going to destroy my minion, so there's no way I'm going to be able to possibly even come close to scratching that 4-4 guy. Unless, of course, we get an assassinate, which is pretty good. So we'll just go ahead and assassinate him. <laughs> Sometimes things work out pretty good. Those of us in the business, and those of us not in the business, like to call that top decking. Every once in a while, you get some good advantages. You know, one of the things we haven't heard a lot of from people is uh, your stories. So if you're playing Hearthstone, uh, what are some of the fun things you found? What are some of the good combos you found? We'd love to hear from you. Gadgets and Auctioneer goes very well with the Priest and the Mage. Whenever you cast a spell, draw a card, and he's a 4-4. Four, four. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Tough choices. We could fan of knives not really beneficial we could raid leader um, but the raid leader is the only thing the raid leader is going to let us do is raid leader I think we actually need to get our brewmaster out uh, while he's not going to battle cry he's still a 
so we'll need to kind of be able to have that advantage. We're going to hold on to our conceal, we'll get our weapon back, and we'll end our turn. I'd like to hold that conceal in case we get a Nixia out. Uh, if we get a Nixia on turn 10 and conceal, that could be pretty, pretty powerful. Oof, Murlocs. Murlocs. Ooh, wow. And he's going to be a 4 1 Murloc. He's going to kill our guy. It's not good. Lots of 4 4s coming from this guy. Lots of 4 4s. Four hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and get a Dragonling down and a raid leader. Now, some of you may be saying to yourself, why are you doing that? Because all of your guys will only have three attack. Well, if he comes into me and kills my guys with three attack, then we could fan a knife. So hopefully that's a good decision, although the priest is looking pretty offensive right now. Not offensive, offensive, if that's a nomenclature correction. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yep, that would be the first thing I would do. Lowers the damage of all my other people, so that's pretty good. Ooh, and he's going to heal him back up immediately, which is kind of nice. And he's just going to come at my head. Alright, this might be our third loss, folks. So we'll have to see what happens here. Let's go ahead and bring out that. And bring out that. Makes him a 7-7, seven, seven, which is rather good. Uh, let's just start putting some pressure on him. Here we go. There we go. Should I give my guy stealth now? I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold out. I think that would be a good thing to do. So he can't touch any of my guys, which may help me, may not help me, but it'll keep him on the board. Let's see, next turn I'll be able to do 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus 4 is 18. Almost. All I need is a head crack. If I can top deck a head crack, this could be pretty good. Or not. <laughs> That's a smart heal. That's a really smart heal. Nope. <sighs> Deal two damage to all other characters. That really stinks. That really stinks. Hmm. Okay. I really would like to have this acolyte out. But I need that out to do that. Maybe not. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Let's see if this works. It's probably a bad choice, so we'll have to see. Do that. And then we'll do that. And everybody else is going to take two damage. Ah, uh, that wasn't a very good top deck. Hey, about time you walked in. I was wondering what you were doing. I thought you were on a conference call, then I heard No, um, answer. yeah, I'm, I'm actually recording, so you're here to watch the, the last and final one. Um, there's really not much I can do yeah, here. I'm really... Uh, well, that's not bad. All right, let's see here. This might get better. This, this might get better. Uh, Kraken Dan is here for color commentary, folks. Let's see, and then get rid of that. We might have actually just turned this around a little bit. One card. All it takes. It's all it takes is one card. He has been absolutely crushing me with these 4-4s four and 5-5s, five so we'll have to see what happens here. And feel free to comment as you like. You're now being recorded and going to be part of the, uh, the game. He Watch him. Yeah, he just pulled my Stormwind Champion. You know it's going to happen. There's like the odds of it not being the Stormwind Champion. Well, it's 50-50, but... Either way, though, it's not going to make a difference if he doesn't play a taunter. Um, if he doesn't or if I don't. If he doesn't right now, yeah, that's... that's good. That'll do it. That'll do it. Yeah. All right. Well, the, five, the five damage spell. Yeah, yeah, which you would think a priest would have drafted. Yeah, yeah, Let's yo, see. Ugh. Oh. okay. He can't put any more minions out after that one. That's cool. No, but I got to get rid of him. So what you do Let's is you see. Play the seven. You play the seven first, yeah, you think? Yeah, and then... You do combo four there. Yep, 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 there you go. Perfect. Good thing I brought you here. Do that. Do that. And then do that. And then do that. Alright, we're getting there. We might be turning it around. Of course, all it's going to take is one shadow word pain. I mean, that's the, that's the painful part here. It's like living on an edge. Well yeah, he's got it. He's got yep. It. Oh, holy fire. Very good. Well played. 
All right, well, unfortunately, and you missed it, uh, for those who have been watching this video, they know it, um, we filmed our second loss and forgot to hit the film key. So that's it. That's three losses. So for anyone watching now, we'll go ahead and do this. So the key lights up uh, whenever you're done. So we, you can click the key, and now you can get your prizes. So we're one in three. Yeah, it's actually a really good graphic. So unfortunately, we didn't do very well at one in three. Um, but let's see what we have. So we have five boxes to choose from. We get dust, we get gold, and a pack. So 10 gold and 20 dust. Not too bad. And just for those who are wondering, I will go ahead and open my pack and you can see what we get. So who knows, maybe with some good luck here we will have gotten an uh, amazing card. You think it's a legendary? Let's see, let's see. We get... Thought Steel's good. Thought Steel's good. Stormfront Jax is good. We get Feral Spirit. spirit. I've never seen that. Summon two, two, three Spirit that's Wolves with amazing. Taunt, and it has Overload. And that's it. So not too bad. So we got a Druid, a Priest, a Shaman, a Warlock, and a Shaman Rare. So not too bad. So that is Arena. That is... Uh, everyone has had a chance to check out a terrible 1-3 in three Rogue run in Arena. And uh, we hope you liked it. Let us know. Leave your comments below on the YouTube channel. You can, of course, chime in on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus by searching Crits Happen or at our homepage at CritsHappen.com. So now is your opportunity to do better than us in Arena. First, thank you all for watching. We had wished we had gone better than 1 in 3, but we had a lot of fun filming this, and we hope that you had a lot of fun watching this. If you live in North America, South America, Australia, New Zealand, or Southeast Asia, we have an opportunity for you to win a beta key. We have one beta key to give away as access to Hearthstone, and all you have to do to enter is leave a comment below in the YouTube channel, share this video, share our blog post, or leave a comment on our blog post. We're going to take everyone who comments before 8 p.m. CST, Central Standard Time, tomorrow on Sunday, October 27th, and draw one random winner from those comments. Now, we're going to reach out and contact the winner first to confirm that they live in one of the areas that the beta key has access to. Uh, and once we do, we'll make an announcement and let everybody know who that is. But in the meantime, get to sharing, get to commenting. We look forward to seeing all your thoughts and hopefully playing you one day in Hearthstone. Thanks so much for watching. Keep rolling those dice, and we hope they're all crits.